This video demonstrates the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Aero PV array on a simulated low slope roof. Using the design layout for reference, mark east west chalk lines that correspond to the spacing between each row. Then mark north south chalk lines that correspond to the spacing between each module. Next, stage components for the first row at their approximate installation location. This will include row connectors, front legs, rear legs, and ballast pans. Using your chalk lines as guides, align the row connectors with each north-south chalk line. In the first row only, each row connector should extend 6 inches in front of the first east-west chalk line. Place the second course of row connectors directly behind the first, leaving an approximate 2-inch space. From the front of each row connector, insert a front leg by tilting it forward slightly and sliding it into the channel. Align the bend in the front leg over the first east-west chalk line. Step on the tab of the front leg to engage it with the row connector. Next, place a ballast pan over each row connector just behind the front leg. Using the edge of a ballast block, strike the ballast pan from above with a short, sharp blow. This fully seats the ballast pan on the row connector and creates a ground bond between the two components. Alternatively, a rubber mallet can be used. Place the ballast blocks in each side of the pan. Check that the row connectors are still on the north-south chalk line and that the bend of the front leg aligns with the east-west chalk line. Repeat these steps for each row connector, front leg, and ballast pan in the first row. Next, install the front row modules. Span the first module between two front legs with the tabs of each leg inserted into the module's groove. To ensure proper one half inch spacing between the modules, the corner of the module should just cover one of the two rivets on the top of each front leg. Lower the module, supporting it by hand until the first rear leg is installed. To install the outside rear leg, place the key side of the leg into the groove about 4 inches from the corner and rotate the leg down until it's vertical. Lower it onto the row connector and snap it into place. The row connector should extend approximately 1 inch past the leg. After the second module has been lowered into position, install the next rear leg. With the key side facing left, insert the rear leg into the gap between the two modules until it is about 4 inches from the corners. Rotate the leg down until it's vertical and snap it onto the row connector. If a rear leg doesn't fully engage, the row connector can be gently lifted and adjusted until the leg pops fully into place. When installing the eastmost module, attach the rear leg with the base of the leg extending towards the front of the array. Place the key side into the groove approximately 4 inches from the module corner. Rotate the leg down and engage it with the row connector as before. To secure the wiring, load a cable into the cable clip and snap the clip into the groove. Slide the clip along the groove to eliminate cable slack. Two clips per module are recommended for proper wire management. Then place the next course of ballast pans onto the row connectors to prepare for the installation of the diffuser support. To install a diffuser support, first align the tabs of the diffuser support with the correct slots on the ballast pan. Left slots for diffuser supports at the east end of the row, center slots for diffuser supports that bridge two modules, and right slots for supports at the west end of a row. Then, insert the diffuser support into the groove at an angle and rotate it downward. Add ballast blocks as before, making sure to fully seat the ballast pan on the row connector. Next, place the wind diffusers on top of the diffuser supports and secure them by snapping wind diffuser clips into the slot at each corner. Install the next row of front legs into the row connectors shared by the first row of modules. As before, install the front legs by tilting them forward slightly, sliding them into the row connector channel, aligning them with the east-west chalk line, and snapping them into place. Front legs can also be aligned using a string line spanning the eastmost and westmost legs. The installation steps from row 1 are now repeated for row 2. Lower the modules into place, install the rear legs onto the row connectors, manage the wires with cable clips, install the diffuser supports, ballast pans, and ballast blocks, and secure the wind diffusers. Repeat these steps for subsequent rows. Because all ZS Aero components are auto-grounding, each row requires only a single ground ZEP installed with a quarter turn of the ZEP tool to carry the equipment grounding conductor back to Earth. This completes the installation of a ZEP Solar ZS Aero Array on a low-slope roof.
for site requirements, design support, and detailed instructions on how to install a ZS Aero Array, visit the ZEP Solar website at zepsolar.com.